but we go hiking in the woods all the time and by the when we get out of the trail there are usually two or three on them and I just pick them right off it's never any, an issue or any kind of danger for him but they are pretty bad this year temperatures are on the rise and that means dog owners have something else to look out for ticks which can cause all sorts of health problems for your pup Jamie Miller is a vet at the University Drive Veterinary Hospital, and she explained the best ways to remove a tick if you find one on your dog. If here's the skin and the, you know, the head is buried in, the best way is just to go right down to the skin, pull it off. What ticks are most commonly known for is probably Lyme disease. According to Miller, there are quite a few telltale signs your dog has it. And it can show signs of lameness in dogs, shifting leg lameness, so you're lame on this leg, maybe next week you'll be lame on this leg, maybe a month later it'll be the back leg, that kind of thing. Um, they can show inappetence, so they don't want to eat much. Um, late stage, it can affect your kidneys. The best way to check for ticks is to look over the coat after going outside. There are plenty of preventative options like NexGuard that are very effective. This here is Carson. And while he might know how to be adorable, what he doesn't know is that Pennsylvania is actually a hotbed for ticks this time of year. Joyce Sakamoto is an entomology research assistant at Penn State, and she said Pennsylvania has such a high tick population because of a perfect storm of conditions. If you, if you optimize conditions, environmental conditions, they're more likely to become um, better suited for that. But it's not as simple as saying it's just one thing. Um, it's, it could be a series of ecological factors that kind of all feed together in kind of this perfect storm. Reporting in State College, I'm Andrew Kalmowitz for the Center County Report.